In this episode of Warped Perception, I'm gonna be putting these gum wrappers through a few scenarios from AC to DC to high voltage to see if you're in a pinch, could you use a gum wrapper to complete a circuit? And if so, what type of circuit? Let's find out. I have a feeling this is gonna be a really interesting experiment. And for all of these tests, except for the high voltage one, I'm going to be measuring the amperage, which is basically the volume of electrons flowing through the circuit. First thing I'm going to do is measure the resistance of the gum wrapper from end to end. And as we can see, it clearly has continuity, which means that it will conduct electricity. I'm just not sure how much electricity. I'm going to see if the gum wrapper is able to complete a low amperage 120 volt AC circuit by powering just a traditional light bulb. Well, 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 that was very interesting. For some reason, I was squinting my eyes. I thought it was going to explode. I don't know why. I disconnected the power. I'm just going to check and see if it got hot or any damage occurred. And no, nah, nothing. It looks perfect. The first thing that comes to my mind is this can probably handle a lot more amperage than just this light bulb. This, that gives me another idea. Not sure if you remember this toaster or not from the previous episode on how a circuit breaker works. But I ended up not returning it to the store. I actually kept it and put it to work so it's well seasoned and it's up for the task. So I'm gonna connect this toaster, leave the circuit in place. I mean, you can kind of say this is our circuit breaker. Light bulb was a 25 watt light bulb. I wanna see if that gum wrapper can handle 800 watts at 120 volts, let's see what happens. Get the high speed camera rolling, everything else is rolling, we're ready to go. Hopefully you're hungry. Well, that's pretty interesting. It's cooking my bagels. I don't see anything overheating here. So if you wanna know how to calculate the amperage, you take the wattage and divide it by the voltage, and that's gonna give you your amperage. All right, well, that was pretty uneventful. Uh, my bagels are pretty much, I mean, they're cooked. This is kind of how I like them. That was 800 watts. Nothing happened to the bubblegum wrapper at all. It handled it like a champ. So the next thing I'm gonna do, as soon as I finish my bagel here, you want a piece? I'm gonna bring a heater that's about 1500 watts, so it's about double the wattage of this. Since I don't wanna have like a million takes, like the see-through engine episodes, I'm just going to go all out. I'm going to connect these two together now. And uh, I want to point out that this is something that you should never, ever, ever try at home. Because I'm not at home, for one. But yeah, you should never try this. I am a seasoned professional, believe it or not. As hard as it is to believe. Just to give you an idea, what I'm thinking, I wanted to just leave the gum intact. And I was thinking it was just going to burn up. And then I was going to use just the wrapper by itself. So that's the idea. Let's see if the world's going to cooperate. We're going to do the toaster and heater combined 2300 watts, which is almost 20 amps at 120 volts. Does that make sense? Let's see. All right, I think we're going to have to get yet another device on here. What the heck? And before I disconnect this, I mean, I don't see anything happening now. I'm not going to touch it. Just want to see if I see any heat coming off of it. There's no heat. I mean, I don't feel anything anyway. I do see kind of the alligator clip burning up a little, but I want to show you that this is legit. Check this out. See that? Yeah, that's legit. All right, and before adding another heater and uh, you know changing this piece of gum out, I want to just feel it. Feels like it's about 100 degrees, so it's definitely heating up. I'm going to bring another 1500 watt heater, all ready to go. We got two heaters, 1500 watts, 1500 watts, 800 watts. That's going to be a combined total of 3800 watts going through the gum wrapper. This is judgment day for the stick of 
them. Here goes heater number one, heater number two, and toaster. Let's see what happens. What's the amperage say? Oh, blew the breaker. Okay, I don't say this word very often, but this is ridiculous. Now we're getting into dangerous territory. This thing blew the breaker. It's a 30 amp breaker, it blew the breaker. Something's gonna happen now. I'm gonna hook this directly up to the 100 amp, 220 volt line coming straight from the main transformer and uh, I don't think this thing's gonna survive this time. Hopefully we see some carnage. Toaster, heater one, heater two. I smell something burning. Oh. Smell it burning. Oh, oh, I see something happening. It's burning up. Oh yeah. Look at that sucker. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. Uncut, unedited. There we go. Finally, something happened. They turned back on. All right, there it goes. Yeah. Even April's excited. All right. So I guess we reached the limit of our wrapper. No. I'm just gonna pull this away very carefully. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Well, that was pretty interesting. I mean, this little stick of gum handled 30 amps of electricity at 120 volts for about two minutes. That was pretty impressive. I had no idea. I mean, this thing is so thin. I don't even know how this handled so much amperage. That was pretty impressive. It must be the surface area. In the high speed footage, you can see there was a little kind of gas flame cloud that was produced by the gum maybe de decomposing or something. For this next test, it's gonna be DC voltage. And I had an idea. I'm just gonna use the gum wrapper to complete the circuit from this battery, which is a LiPo battery, to the electric jet. I don't know if anybody noticed that electric jet in the background up there, but I'm gonna take that electric jet down, hook this battery up, but complete the circuit with the gum wrapper. Let's get this set up and uh, get this underway and see if this little wrapper can hang. I don't think it can, not in this test. Here we go. And this battery is rated at 30C. It's a four amp battery, so that means it's a burst discharge of 120 amps. This is gonna give you a great example of voltage versus amperage because this battery is 11.1 volts and it's a four amp battery, 30C discharge. But if you ever short these leads, yeah, you're in for a surprise because this battery will discharge at, I'm just taking a guess, probably three, 350 amps shorted. It's pretty scary. Bro, 
broke our circuit. All right, so it just stopped. It looks like we had a little break in the connection, uh, maybe right here somewhere. I don't know if it's the wrapper or the alligator clip, but I'll tell you, I would have never thought in my wildest dreams that a gum wrapper would be able to handle this much amperage. You saw it for your own eyes. There you go, 25 amps DC. So that being said, I'm gonna get this jet off the table. I'm gonna do one more experiment with low amperage and high voltage, it's about 15,000 volts, and uh, we're gonna see if it'll complete a circuit, see if it does anything cool. This is going to be my last and final experiment, which may be a waste of time, but this is a 15,000 volt transformer, but it's only 40 milliamps. That's going back to this whole voltage versus amperage thing. And an easy way to think about it is, voltage is the push behind the electrons, and amperage is the volume or the amount of electrons that's flowing. All right, let's see if we can conduct 15,000 volts with gum wrappers. Check that out. Kind of interesting, huh? Clean table, episode's over. Now I knew that you can use a gum wrapper to jump fuses and other like low amperage, low voltage stuff, but I had no idea that you can actually use a gum wrapper to uh, yeah, complete a circuit like that. I mean, you see how much amperage it handled. That was interesting. And uh, I don't know how this would be useful in your daily life or uh, in any emergency for that matter, but now you know that you can in fact complete a circuit with a gum wrapper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, I need subscribers. Subscribers, subscribers, please subscribe. No, I'm just kidding, but yeah, subscribe. See you in the next video. And the see-through engine, episode seven, it's right there. The EFI system is right there. It's coming. I have a few things that are kind of difficult to build. I know people are gonna ask about that, so if you're gonna ask about that, it's coming. See you later, adios.